Hi YouTube, my name's Drew, and you're watching Drawing with Drew. So for today's video, I'm going to show you guys some stuff that I was working on actually last night. I was drawing in front of the TV. I was just kind of letting my mind go wild and just starting this kind of weird character. I'm gonna take a picture of it, and then I'm gonna put it on my computer, put it onto my UG Draw Monitor, and uh, finish inking it and coloring it there. So I'll show you the picture here, and I'll show you how I got to this stage. So if you're like me, you may like to draw on paper and then do your finishing touches uh, digitally on your drawing monitor. So in this case, my picture, I've got kind of a comic guy. I've got him saying, who stole my khakis? I might change that later because I'm not sure if uh, that's what I want him to say at the end. Now perhaps you don't want to have to take the picture with your camera uh, and then take it out, the SD card out of it and put it in your computer and transfer it that way. Maybe you just want a really quick, easy way of getting your picture on digitally. You can just, if you're on a Mac, go to Photo Booth and you can click on the picture and you might have to do it a couple times to get it completely perfect. There, I just took the picture using Photo Booth. It's definitely not the best quality and it's not exactly uh, linked up or lined up perfectly, but it doesn't matter in this case because I'm just gonna be going over top of it with my drawing monitor anyway. Done. This is the UG1910B. I have quite a few videos on this tablet monitor. Uh, I do really like it. It's quite good, especially if you're a starting out artist and you don't want to drop a lot of money on a more professional one. I can see in the next few years, you know, any of these alternatives, I don't know if they're really gonna be around much longer because as new tech starts to become more affordable these little companies might start to be phased out i don't know uh for the meantime i really enjoy it it's it's a nice big screen i haven't had any issues touch wood with it so far i am having a few issues with manga studio the actual program kind of closing on me but other than that the drawing monitor has been working really well i enjoy using it and uh maybe i'll just ask you guys now if you're interested and you're enjoying so far enjoying this video maybe hit that subscribe button so you can stay tuned because I am uh, really intending to on growing this channel as, as big as I can. I'm at 96 subscribers as we speak. So if you want to make uh, make it to 100 for me, I would be very appreciative. So I'll start a new layer and I'm going to start, let's make his shirt kind of this pinky rose color. Okay, and let's make his underwear yellow. And these are what you call your flats. So. There's no tones or, or uh, shading involved yet. I'm just doing different different flat colors in the certain areas. And then I can go in afterwards and, and do the shading. Anywhere where kind of like two lines meet, I find are often it's often darker. So like his shirt line, you'll have a bit of a shadow there. And then you can put some shadow in his hands because it would be shadowy in there. And we'll end it on this today, you guys. This is just my quick sketch turned digital. And uh, you can save it as a JPEG, you can save it as a PNG file, and you can turn it into a t-shirt design for online. You can do a lot of different things with this, so interesting program to use and uh, kind of fun, fun to draw with. 